As I was finishing up Leadership and Management, a structural perspective, I got to thinking about if there's a structure, might there also be a systemic perspective to this to leadership and management that are contrary in some nature? And here's what I came up with after pondering it for a while. I concluded that management is actually a goal-seeking endeavor where there's some current state and some desired state and, and management attempts to manage an activity to move the current state in the direction of the desired state and close the gap. And once there, the gap is zero, there's no more activity. Though, as I talked about in the structural perspective, the activity has a tendency to be divergent so that management has to be employed to, uh, on an ongoing basis to attempt to create an alignment amongst the activities so that it, it stays focused on what it's trying to accomplish. So this is what I came up with for, for a management perspective. And on the other hand, a leadership perspective, I think leadership creates reinforcing structures whereby the activity promotes a result which further promotes the same activity and it presents a growth scenario, whereas management is sort of attempts to achieve a goal and then when it gets to the goal, it has to do something else. The, the leadership perspective is more like we're going west and the more you go west, the more you attempt to go west. The difficulty with the leadership structure is has a lot to do, I think, with impatience in that because the results promote the activity, which promotes more result, we think that if we induce rewards into the situation, it will promote more, more of the same activity. Though, as Alfie Cohn points out very well in Punished by Rewards, is rewards often achieve exactly the opposite intent of what we really want to achieve. And, and I've sort of deciphered that to mean that that if the rewards are uh, perceived to be something that that people really want, they they come up with other activities to actually promote achieving the rewards, as opposed to the activity to produce the results. So they do things specifically to garner the rewards that they're interested in, and it is the nature of that activity that that activity diminishes the other activity, so it actually stagnates the growth itself overall, and you end up with a, a balancing structure that's actually a stagnating structure, diminishing the potential of the results of what was actually intended. As Senge points out, what we need to figure out is how to undertake objectives that are intrinsically meaningful so that doing the results that are produced make it a meaningful activity to produce those results so there's a perceived meaningfulness that's part of the structure. And so this is what I came up with in terms of a systemic perspective of the contrast between leadership and management. And I look forward to your comments. Thank you.